Alright guys, so today I'm here doing a takedown round with Moe's to give you guys a realistic view of how Moe's performs on Mayhem 4 with like normal gears. So this is no points into the red tree and a green blue tree build. A typical Moe's splash build that you see everywhere everyone's using nothing too special right here and gear wise we're not using any like god roll gears so here's a lob with earbone crit damage now now we all know that this is basically not anointed because you're never going to take advantage of the, this anointment and here's a Kip Source, which is a very popular gun, top choice for any Splash Moe's build. However, this one is not anointed. Now, I do have a consecutive hit one, but for the sake of this run, we're using non anointed gears. Here's a Boomsicle, non anointed, and here's a Scourge. Again, anointed, but basically like non anointed. Here's a big boom blaster with corrosive damage because I don't I don't actually think that there will be anyone that's playing this game that actually don't have any shield that gives you ASC bonus elemental damage. So I am actually using an ASC elemental damage shield. Now here I'm using the big boom blaster, but it's actually not a big deal. You can use any other shield; it would do the same thing. However, for the grenade, I'm not using elemental anointment because it's already a pain in the ass fighting this clone demanding tracker. I don't think the average player like me would ever have an, a good clone demanding tracker. So this is just a normal clone demanding tracker. There is an anointment on this, but it's basically like nothing. Here's a blastmaster. As you can see, nothing god rolled, no like splash damage, SMG damage, heavy, heavy weapon damage, just a regular Blastmaster and level 52. And uh, here's a pearl, which again, no god rolls because there's no mag, like a health regen and fire rate. So I would say this is a pretty average gear for average players. And uh, we're here to see how this average gear would perform in M4 takedown. And uh, the modifiers are sniper damage, which is basically neutral. We're not using any snipers, so let's just go ahead and start the round.
I gotta say, this first year actually went better than I thought it would. I thought I'm going to like have a lot of issue killing the Kraken, you know, lack of damage and everything. But surprisingly, it actually went fine. No, I actually want to say that I have like super fast action skill charge rate because I respect a lot so you know the respect glitch is working right here but as you can see I'm not actually just spamming iron beer over and over so it's not actually making the biggest difference like with just a normal build with no like uh, cooldown glitch you would have similar like cooldown result so I would say not to worry. And if you could actually stay still, that would be awesome. Oh boy. Oh, this is kind of bad. Are you serious? Like for the 10 gallon, I don't even... I'm not even sure whether or not it can benefit from splash damage annoyment. I mean, I know it's a teaser gun, I know, but... I don't know. Sometimes you would actually find a uh, weapon annoyment that doesn't work at all. Like once I found a 160 Iron Beer Splash Cutsman, weird, right? Like the Cutsman actually doesn't deal any splash damage, but I got a 160 Splash Cutsman, which is very weird to me. And I believe me, I tested it out. The damage is the same. Nothing was different. So, I don't know why things like this exist. Like, annoyment that is not just hard to take advantage of, but just outright doesn't work. But so far, this run is way better than I thought it would be. I'm actually outputting enough damage, which is much to my surprise, to be honest. Now on this bridge section, we're just gonna spam scourge shots effortlessly.
Oh. Okay. Well. <laughs> I was afraid that a mistake like that would happen, and uh, well, it did. Hopefully. Oh boy. Well, one thing with this build certainly is that you don't want to walk into your enemy's face. Oh my god. Getting a bit chaotic. Dude, my aim is all over the place. Because my controller is like freaking out. It's constantly twitching to the left, so it's causing a lot of problem, like a lot of problem. I've been trying to fix this issue forever, but like nothing I tried seems to work. But yeah, basically, this is just the gist of the build. You get into Iron Beer, you spam Scourge Shot, and once Sun for Zero runs out, you switch to your Kips Worms. And I down myself again. Oh well. Dude, these dogs are so annoying, I'm telling you. I got no way. I can't live with this. I I can't see. Well, as you can see guys, this build without anointment Oh wait Is just sad Like, look at this damage dude Oh my god This is so frustrating dude, like So frustrating Ugh
Well, next is the Wotan fight and uh... I'll be honest with you, I, I don't know how this will play out. I'm, I'm kind of worried right now. I don't know. I don't think I would necessarily die. But honestly, this he he would be a pain in the ass to kill. Let me just try to use the uh, lob for you. I was hoping that the lob would be good, and yeah, look at that. It's actually not bad. And when he's on top, I'm thinking keeps worse because you know how the lob is, the slow traveling speed and all. And wait, actually, actually, he resists cryo damage. Oh my god! Well, I gotta say that is unexpected. Well, I guess I'm just gonna have to like spam lob shots. I mean, what else can I do? Can I even reach him? I don't know. Like, look at this, I'm not... I'm not actually dealing damage. Oh my god. I need another gun for this. Uh, you know what, just to get you done. I I'm sorry guys. I have to use this. Otherwise... Oh, actually you're done. Well, you know what, never mind. We're not using anointment, guys. No anointment. Oh my god. And switch back to the non-anointed one. This is clutch. Like without anointment at all. And I ran out of grenades. Wow. Uh, that's that's really bad. Oh my god. Let me let me take you out and. I can't see. Oh shoot. Did I really? Oh. This is this is bad. Like this is all expected. I don't know that Wotan actually resists cryo damage because normally cryo damage actually has like a slight bonus against armor target. So that is what I'm going for, but uh, well, who knows? I, I can't hit him. Stop flying, oh my god. Honestly? Let me use you. See, the best thing against flying enemy is homing things. Like, the Scourge. And that's M4 takedown with non anointed gears. I mean, sure, this big boom blaster is anointed, but um, honestly, if you don't even have an ASC shield, then you might as well just stop playing this game right now. Also, in the uh, like previous. Legendary vendor events. I'm pretty sure everyone have all the ASE shield and grenade because that's what I did I must have bought like 50 grenades Anyway the gear again the lob non anointed. I mean it is anointed, but just Look at this thing I say for itself 
Now Anointed still destroyed Wotan. Cape Shores, this is this one is actually truly not anointed and still works good against basic mobs, but could take a while to kill badass. Boomsicle, not anointed, shock against shield, absolutely tearing through everything. Doesn't even matter that it's not anointed. Scourge, not anointed, good for clearing mobs. You use some for the roll, shoot a bunch, and um, all the red dot would disappear. And this is a Blastmaster, level 50, by the way, without any god rolls. And just a random pearl, again, without any god rolls. And this is a skill tree. And I gotta say, this build actually did better than I thought it would. I saw that I was gonna have a problem killing like basic badass enemy, but it turns out I actually shredded them. Which I guess I guess it's a good thing. You know you want your guns to be good instead of bad, right? And last let's just check what dropped. <coughs> Another take spoon. A Gatling gun, Ruby's Rest, Iron Bear, 160 Splash, okay, okay, <coughs> well, I got lucky I guess, but anyway that's gonna be it for the video, and um, much to my surprise, this mobile actually functioned well without any anointed gear, which I thought was impossible, but I guess it's actually not all that bad. So guys, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys next time.